Ever since the rise of AI, game developers have been wondering one thing, how could I use this for game development? Now, I think AI is great for game development, but it can do a lot more than just write code, which is one of the most common things to use AI for with game development. So what else can game developers use AI for? Thanks to the rise in AI game development tools like Rosebud, game development with AI has never been easier. If you're unfamiliar with Rosebud, it's a game engine literally powered by AI, where you can type your game ideas and Rosebud creates it for you. But I wanted to look at five ways game developers can use AI, specifically Rosebud, and why AI is great for game developers. One of the biggest hurdles with game development can be coming up with an idea. And even if you have an incredible idea for your game, it can be difficult to refine that idea, especially to better fit your game's scope. Here's where Rosebud comes into play. Now, essentially Rosebud is a game engine powered by AI. You can tell Rosebud what you want to create and Rosebud will create it for you. But since it works like an AI chatbot, you don't have to necessarily get features created right away. You can simply ask for a game idea. Even more specifically, you can ask for an idea of a game in a specific genre or following specific rules. Now that I have an idea for a game, I can refine that idea by asking relevant questions. Since Rosebud works with an AI chatbot, you don't always have to ask for something to be added to your project, you can always ask for ideas. And the great thing with Rosebud, once you have an idea, you can ask to start working on the game. One of the worst things with game development is if you have an idea, you spend ages developing a prototype, and the game sucks. The great thing with AI tools like Rosebud is that it works perfectly for quickly prototyping game ideas. All you have to do is describe your game and features in great detail, and you can quickly build a prototype for something that would have taken you much longer to create with traditional development tools. Once you have a game prototype, it's really easy to build upon and add more features, along with test what works in the game and what doesn't. One of the greatest things about Rosebud is the built-in asset generator. Rosebud provides you with a range of asset generation themes, so you can easily find one that would fit your game. All you have to do is describe your asset, Rosebud will generate the asset, and you can keep generating until you find the right sprite. You can also use Rosebud to create sprite sheets for your game. This asset generation feature can also be great for quickly prototyping what your game graphics should be, and is incredibly useful for game developers. Similar to the idea generation, you can ask Rosebud for features for your game. Say you're working on a platform game in Rosebud, and you need an idea for an enemy for your level. All you have to do is ask Rosebud, and Rosebud will not only give you the feature suggestion, but will also code the enemy into the game and create an asset for the enemy. You can constantly ask Rosebud for feedback on the game and suggestions as you develop, which makes Rosebud the perfect playtester as you're working on your game. you can use AI to completely create your game. That's essentially what Rosebud's Game Creator tool is, a way to create games using AI. Rosebud covers everything from asset creation to coding, and you can constantly change the game until it's complete. On screen right now are some games created completely with Rosebud AI. Even if you already use a different game development engine, Rosebud is very interesting to try and helps you improve as a game developer, as the chatbot constantly provides detailed explanations of the features and explains how the code works. And there we go, those are five ways you can use AI for game development. Overall, AI is great for game developers and can be used in many different ways. If you would like to use Rosebud, which is completely free, you can do so with the link in the description. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel if you want more content.